Definitely, definitely. <laughs> the food is definitely 10 out of 10. I actually was on a layover in Delhi and the the curry and the dal was so good there. Like the dairy that they have is so good. Like to, that they make to use like the paneer and even like the ghee. Like it's all so good. I would definitely recommend. Mm -hmm. I would I would say like I've only been to like southern India a lot so the place where I go to all the time is Chennai um, it's really it's really nice um, and there's definitely a lot to do but I feel like the most popular destinations in India like Taj Mahal and stuff are in North India and I feel like North India is a little more customized to the Westerner I would feel like more than South India so I feel like if you want to get like a real I mean obviously there are villages in North India and all that where you can go and kind of like get like more of a less westernized version of India but I feel like all the big cities are very westernized now um, but South India I re recommend going to Chennai I recommend going to like all the bigger cities too like Delhi um, Mumbai I would say like super super fun i've never been to the bigger cities except delhi but delhi is a huge recommend because they have so much to do there and so much nice food to eat i would say regardless where you go even south india there there's always nice food to eat the only thing is don't drink the water there or else you're gonna get food poisoning you have to drink the the like filtered water yeah yeah, because, like, American stomachs are not used to that type of water. So every time I go to India, I only drink bottled water or else you're prone to food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm I'm so good. I'm very excited to be here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the year went by so fast. It's already March. That's crazy. I agree. I agree. It's looking positive. <laughs> Ooh, like bucket list in my entire life or like, ooh, okay. Um, hi, I'm Hasitha. I moved to LA around two and a half years ago um, to study music industry at UCLA. I'm a third year there right now and I do music. I'm an artist. I have been making music for around two years now and putting it out and I make pop music, so if you like like Olivia Rodrigo, like Ariana Grande, Dua Lipa, Lady Gaga, Charlie XCX, like that's the type of music I really like. Like those people are definitely inspirations. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me and three kind of bucket list items. Um, I would say I really want to go to East Asia. I've never traveled to like East Asia. I feel like I've explored a lot of different parts of the world, but I feel like that's one part I haven't really explored. And I really want to go to like South Korea, like China, um, Japan. I think Japan's like a bucket list. I feel like I always see videos of people going to like Japan and like doing some really cool stuff and like. Yeah, definitely would like to go to East Asia at least one time in my life and explore it. Um, second bucket list item, I would say like, honestly, <laughs> this is going to sound really stupid. Um, so I've always had like my celebrity crush ever since I was like 13 has been Grayson Dolan. I <laughs> I would say a really silly bucket list item would be to meet him. 
<laughs> Who knows? Okay, that would be my bucket, my second bucket list item. And third bucket list item is to go on a world tour and see everyone and like get to meet like the people who inspire me. Like that's just more of like a goal for myself and like career wise, but obviously like bucket list, like manifesting it. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I only seriously started putting out music around like tw like the end of 2022. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, bye. It's called bye. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, so I actually like my mom. She does like Carnatic music, which is like Indian classical music. Um, and she like sings. She teaches um, music right now and. Ever since I was little, I've been around singing. I've been around music, and I actually learned that. That was like my main introduction into music. And then I decided, like, ooh, I kind of want to go into the Western style, and I want to see like I was like a theater kid for a while. Like I did theater all in middle school and like throughout like some parts of high school. And then I would say like mid high school, I was like, wait, I don't know if theater is for me. And then I was like. I just like saw Ariana Grande I started to really get into her around like 2017 2018 and I was just like obsessed with her and she really inspired me to like start taking like this music stuff like seriously so I trained my train my voice like I wanted to like riff and I wanted to like build my singing into a more like pop style so I just started doing that like all throughout high school and I knew I wanted to come to New York or LA for college so I applied to like all the schools like NYU, UCLA, Berkeley College of Music like applied to all of them and then I decided on UCLA because I was like I think LA is the place to be especially for like pop music and stuff like that so I decided to come out here and you know take on take on LA so that was kind of the thing and yeah, been writing songs too, like ever since like I decided to like do pop and yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I think it was really good. I think my first concert, like, by myself as a solo artist, actually, was, like, it was, I think it was, like, in, it was either, like, the end of 2022 or, like, in 2023. Like, it took me some time to, like, build up, like, band, form those connections here and, like, really go for it. Um, but in, after 2023, I've been performing a lot around UCLA and just like LA in general and it's been it was such a thrilling experience because like even like hearing your own songs with like having a band perform it is so like it's so cool and you feel like so lucky to like have these people like playing aside you and it's definitely a blessing um I'm very lucky to work with the people in my band and like I, I love it and it's it's a thrilling experience Yeah, I actually met everyone at UCLA. <laughs> everyone. There are so many talented like musicians and instrumentalists at UCLA. Like so many people who are like wanting to like be a part of something or play in a band. Um, so many. It's just like such a great like music community. Um, I feel like there's so many people trying to like do their thing um, and and perform and you know be part of a band. So definitely like took some time to find some like concrete like 
musicians to like play a bunch of gigs with but like at the same time it was just like so nice to like explore and just see everyone's talent but yeah 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 um it was so it was so fun it was such a i would say like that was like the first show where i was like wow like this is actually happening um because the stage was obviously super nice and the vibes were like out of the world but it just felt so like real and in the moment and it was just like it felt it felt like a blessing like again like a blessing to get to perform there and yeah and a lot of people came to support and i was just like very blessed to see like the people i know people i love like my dad actually like flew from virginia (laughs) yeah 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 i definitely needed that because um it's definitely like stressful leading up to a show like making sure you got everything in check making sure the sound is in check making sure all the equipment's in check making sure you get people to come out like it's just a lot of things like building up to the show but like after the show I was like this was all worth it like I definitely enjoyed my time my band loved it I loved it it was just a great experience Mm -hmm. I honestly sometimes I do meditate um I I feel like it really does ground you um as a person and I'm trying to honestly implement that into my routine way more because I feel like the more you do it's great but also the more anxiety and the more stuff you take on so I feel like the more I've been doing the more anxious sometimes I feel myself getting and I'm like ooh, like I think I need to start implementing meditation to like ground myself every day and that's definitely something that I sometimes do before a show always pray I always pray before a show um yeah I definitely feel like prayer also grounds me and yeah I I believe I believe in God I I love God (laughs) yes yes Mm -hmm. yeah Mm mm-hmm yeah Mhm. I do record my music at studios. I have um, some music out on like Spotify, Apple Music, like all the platforms and yeah, I've been doing like recorded music for yeah, since like 2022. Like the end of 2022 is when I started putting out like recorded music, so that actually like started to like take place before my like live shows and all that so um yeah i've been doing that sometimes like some songs i will record like by myself in my bedroom like with a mic and some songs i i do in the studio but i feel like both turn out good it just really depends on like the environment you record in and like the engineer who like mixes and masters it i definitely think that that's all very important because like soundproofing obviously is very important so it's obviously not going to be amazing when you record it in your bedroom but when you go to the studio obviously it's like very 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 like soundproof and like i have i have yeah (laughs) It, it actually like i feel like most of my songs out right now like are recorded like in my bedroom i would say there's only like There's only, like, two or three which are not. But I would say, like, my songs coming up are... A lot of them are recorded, like, studio. And, like, in, like, a producer's, like, little, like, home studio, which is soundproof. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm 
you can make it happen with very little. Mm-hmm. Play like in the early nineties or early two thousands, you needed a complete studio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about um, promoting on social media, promoting your music on social media and everything? Definitely. So I feel like a lot of artists are like pro social media a lot of them are anti i feel like because i feel like i'm in the middle like sometimes i enjoy it and i enjoy like creating content but sometimes it also can be like so like emotionally draining just like constantly like putting yourself out there and being like hey (laughs) and then it feels like you're just like you know just like putting yourself out there so much and just like really pushing at it and sometimes i feel like it takes away from the art itself and you're like this feels like I'm a machine or this feels like I'm a robot but like nowadays I feel like the music industry has changed so much where like it's talent and consistency that wins not like not just talent you know because like I would say the artists that are coming up right now very talented but I would say like there are probably more talented artists than them that aren't as consistent or prominent on social media and they're winning because they're putting themselves out there and yeah so I feel like right now the industry set up in a way where like people who are doing it on social media are the ones that are like getting signed by labels getting noticed by labels um getting into deals publishing management deals so I feel like social media nowadays is super important for an artist so if they want to like I don't know have a career down the line I feel like promoting yourself on social media is very important so that's why I'm like posting like almost every day sometimes every day and I'm like hey (laughs) yeah yeah Mm -hmm. yes yeah UMG Mm -hmm. mm-hmm mm-hmm Definitely, definitely. I agree. After, after the UMG takedown, I've been posting like every day or more than every day, like twice a day sometimes. So, I'm I'm trying to take advantage of it. <laughs> At some point, like I've been on TikTok for like, literally since like 2020. So I've been on it for a while, and what I've noticed is like obviously it's nice to see like what your followers engage with and all that but at the same time like I don't let like engagement I don't let all that define me as a person and an artist and when something is so much tied to numbers it can really like affect you mentally so nowadays I'm like I don't really care and if a video does well it does well and if it doesn't it doesn't do well like that's that's all it is and like you just have to continue pushing and continue going and that's how I kind of see it yeah Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right. Definitely. I agree. I feel like the mixture of like a good viral moment and like having it be organic to yourself is like the best thing you can ask for and a lot of the times it happens like when someone's been like posting for a while or like when they found like their kind of voice and like what they want to post and I feel like I feel like a lot of those things like I'm very spiritual I believe in God it's like I feel like it's like a timing it's like a it's like a timing you know it's it's not up to me it's up to God so I really like I I just like put it in his control and I'm like okay you know yeah (laughs) thank you thank you Uh uh-huh thank you Thank you. I appreciate it. You as well. We're we're out we're out here. Definitely. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm so just, I like being in my apartment sometimes. Me too. Me too. Me too. But you know, when you're doing what you love, it feels good to be outside. I agree. I agree. There's always, especially around UCLA, there's always something happening in terms of shows and in terms of like, just like music in general. Like, right now I'm like, there's something called Cherry Pop Records. Um, it's like a UCLA um, record label. So yeah, a bunch of a bunch of UCLA students. Um, there's like all departments. There's like events. There's press. There's A and R. There's business affairs. So basically, like everything you would see in an actual label, like they have, and the students run it. And they have like artists, and it's like very cool. And I actually just got signed as an artist. So, I <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, I actually do get free studio time um, because, and they have super nice studios. Like everything's like soundproof. Like they have their own engineer too, and um, people in the production department they um, have taken the audio classes, so they get to rent out the studios. And yeah, whenever I tell them, oh, I want to like record blah 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 song on this date, like they can get it arranged and it's been super nice having those like extra resources yeah yeah music industry mm -hmm. yes i like it um i definitely think i'm learning a lot and even more than learning i feel like i'm meeting a lot of people and i feel like as much as it's like important to connect and form connections with like people above you like it's also like really important to form connections with your peers because like who knows what they're going to be doing down the line and just like having those people that are like doing cool stuff like around you like can really like push you up and y'all can grow together you know that's kind of like the feeling that i've been like getting it's like inspiring to see people like doing their shit and i'm like oh like i want to like continue to do my shit too it's it's definitely like good to be around like peers who are like passionate and doing their thing mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> I sometimes do I feel like I feel like I've the past like two weeks like since I've been doing like so many live shows like in January February and like preparing for that like I feel like that had been my main focus and I think for some time like I felt so brain dead and felt so like tired that I was like uh like the only thing I can think about right now is how tired I am. And, like, I could write a song about that, but it felt stupid to me. So I was, like, oh, like, I was experiencing, like, creative block after, like, feeling, like, tired. And, like, I think sometimes that does happen. But usually when I'm, like, well-rested in my element, like, I feel like, like, usually, like, the creativity flows. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think I just, like, accept it for what it is. Like, sometimes, like, you can't really push it. Sometimes you're like, okay, like, it's not going to come today. <laughs> sometimes you really do have to do that and give yourself a break because I feel like sometimes, like, you do need a break and you just, like, need to normalize, you know, giving yourself that grace. So I feel like that's kind of, like, what I do because I'm, like, when I am on it, I'm on it. So when I'm not doing it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give myself the grace today and we're just gonna do it another day. And like, in a weird way, like I don't really think about it too much. I'm just like, okay, I'm feeling this way today. I'll get back into it when I'm feeling better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. 
Yes. No. I I agree. Definitely, like, especially, like, in the entertainment world, entertainment sphere, it's, like, the people who are successful now have been doing it for so long, and they definitely did it for so long even before they reached, like, even a taste of success. So I feel like it, I definitely agree with you when you say it's a marathon on a sprint because I definitely have to remind myself that a lot and be like recharge it's it's definitely a mindset thing because I feel like the people who do like do this for a while they change their mindset they definitely like reinvent themselves and be like this is this doesn't define me like what is happening right now what the results right now don't define me you know the way I think think about myself defines me and the positivity I bring into my life defines me and sometimes when negative thoughts come I'm like this is this is not good vibes I don't want to invite that into my space (laughs) that's definitely like been my process like I think I've gotten better about it literally like in the past like two months like I think I've definitely had to like change my mindset and be like this is like I'm inviting positivity into my life and I'm thinking positive and all that matters is that I'm doing what I love and that I feel good so definitely like that's been the mindset Mm -hmm. yes definitely I agree I definitely is a lot I I will say it's a lot um and sometimes I feel like school was like my last priority which is so bad um thankful thankfully the music industry major is like made for like for people who like do a lot of stuff outside because the music industry major is like obviously like people are doing internships people are going out into the industry and doing a bunch of things so they made it in terms they made it thinking that they made it in terms of like okay so we're gonna make the workload less so our students can go out and do a bunch of things in the industry but it's obviously not still nothing it's still like work and you still have to like do the GEs and those are obviously like work those are you're taking it amongst like many other majors and I would say like now that I'm in my elective classes since I'm a third year it's much easier but definitely my first year I think a part of the reason in my first year why I wasn't able to focus so much on my actual like solo career was because like I had to get those GEs out of the way I had to like get all those like more difficult classes out of the way but now I feel like my class load has like decreased a little bit and I'm able to like take the elective classes and I feel like the professors are also more understanding now um when you tell them like okay like this is happening and and they're in the music sphere so they get it so I feel like it's better now than it was my first and second year Yeah. Yeah. One more year. Yeah. <laughs> so I honestly see myself just still doing stuff in the music industry. Still see myself doing the artist thing, because um, that like the artist thing is like the end goal. Like that is like something I want to make my career. So I'm gonna like go hard at that um for as long as i can and i would say like i've done some like internships and like i would definitely love to like get a job in like the music industry too so um that's definitely like some somewhere i like i see myself but definitely something in the music sphere like i I definitely want to like continue down this path and like yeah just been like juggling some internships and all that so yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, f- I feel like that would be cool. Um, 
I don't know if where I live is like the most like music positive scene. I don't really know because it's like just like it's literally a suburb in Virginia and like maybe but maybe like DC would be a vibe. I think DC would be more of a vibe. So I'm down. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I definitely like grew up only an hour away from DC, but I feel like the personalities definitely change. Like when you actually get into DC versus like Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's where the energy is. Yeah, that's close to me. Mm-hmm. I would say, like, the area I live in, very beautiful. Like, it's it's very, like, serene, like, and it's a very, like, suburban, like, a very good place to, like, grow up, I would say. It's a very, like, safe environment, and I definitely, like, enjoyed it for what it was, definitely. Yeah. I would say definitely, but I also, like, I've loved New York ever since I was a little girl. Um, I know. So I think at some point in my life, I would love to like experience New York and live there for a little bit. But obviously, yeah, California, the vibes can't be matched. So I, I maybe California, New York. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kinda like the lesser look. <laughs> I agree. I I think if an opportunity ever presents itself, why not? Why not? Oh, thank you. Right. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate the kind words. It, it means a lot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm excited. Oh, oh my gosh wait I have to like think about that one for a second I would say spaghetti for hair and the reasoning behind this is I feel like I wouldn't be able to bite into anything like if I had marshmallow as my, like if I wanted to eat anything like remotely like like thicker or like harder like there would be no way like I would like I wouldn't be able to like n gnaw into it there would be no way and spaghetti is hair I feel like hair is hair right that like doesn't affect my like the way I eat or like you know stuff like that and like I could eat my hair no no I, I I love my food if if something's gonna interfere with the way I eat I'm choosing the other thing yeah mm hmm sneeze bubbles cuz cuz I feel like it would be kind of uncomfortable to like hiccup confetti no I feel like that would be kind of uncomfortable um I'm thinking about it like in the way how it feels coming out of your like vocal cords it's like and I also don't want anything to mess my vocal cords up so I'm like I'm I'm buzz bubbles yeah I I know I feel like bubbles are also like they're more hideable like and they're easier to like like be like you know 
Oh, wait, that's so hard. Mermaid tail. I answer that so quick because actually ever since I was a kid, like, I always want, like, I used to watch all the mermaid, like, movies and, like, like H2O and all that. And I actually have a song called H2O and it's just, like, I'm obsessed. No, it's not about mermaids, but, like, it's just, like, I, I always want to get those fake tails, too, and swim with them. I think I actually, like, tried on a fake tail and before and, like, tried swimming with it. So I'm just, like, obsessed with the whole mermaid thing. Like, ever since I was little, I've wanted to be a mermaid. Yeah. I think I might do it. I think I might. It's, I need to live out my childhood fantasy. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I want to do that. <gasps> okay. 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 Oh my god. I'm scared now. I'll try it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Shout quietly. Because whispering is really bad for your voice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm thinking as a singer and I'm saying shout loudly. Cause you can at least place that right. Mm-hmm. Sticky. Oh my god, I hate itchy. I hate itchy. Every 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 time I get a bug bite, I'm like that's also why when I go to India I get so scared because I'm so scared like in the summer like so many mosquito bites. I literally counted one time, I had 50 mosquito bites. 50? 50. 50. No, no, no. I stayed, I stayed, I think this was when I was in India for like at least a month. And I counted and it was 50. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I hate itchy. I would way rather be sticky. Mm hmm. Ooh, okay. Wow. Ooh. I like can think of like one single happy moment, but there have been like a lot of like big happy moments like that I can think of. But obviously, like the feeling I get is happiness, like like a little like excitement. Um, I just like honestly, like I'm one to be like I don't like the highs, I don't like the lows. I love just being like a constant emotion and I actually, I actually like I'm weird about this and I'm like I actually don't try to think about my happiest moments or my saddest moments I just try to stay in the middle regardless of what's happening around me I try to just be like just like in the middle just like in the middle because I feel like when you get really happy at your happiest moments or really sad in your saddest moments that like makes everything so like big and I feel like if you try to stay as constant as you can be, like, you don't, like, you don't react, like, in a huge way for, like, both. And I feel like that keeps you more grounded and constant. And that's what I try to do. But obviously, when there's, like, a really happy moment, obviously, like, I'm going to feel, like, really great. But I don't try to bring that along with me. Because I'm a type of person that, like, compares. I'm like, oh, like, I was really happy, like then and why isn't that hap why am I not happy now like I've noticed that and I'm like now I'm trying to be like not comparing myself to like my past self and being like I just need to stay constant stay grounded yeah stay in the moment yeah yeah I'm like I need to stay in the moment I need to like be appreci appreciative of like what's happening now and just like be grounded, be in the center. Obviously, easier said than done, but 
trying to like implement that more into like my life and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree because like life is unpredictable and people think they're in control but I don't think they are or else like life would just be like way more linear and I'm like you I know I know I I agree I actually agree I feel like I feel like certain people though like they think like if I do X, Y, and Z, then X, Y, and Z will happen. To some extent, that's kind of true, but at the same time, like, life happens. So you can, you never know. So you just gotta, like, enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I would say like start when and where you could start like no matter like where what stage you're at like try putting yourself out there because like you never know what's gonna happen where it's gonna take you who you're gonna meet so yeah I didn't know like even a year ago that I would like be here and like I just like it always takes you for a ride like in a good way and I feel like Obviously, like, being an artist is not easy. You're always going to find thorns in your path, but it takes a definite... It, it takes a person with thick skin to do this. I will say that. Um, because it's always not going to be a very, like, easy road. So I would say, like, definitely you got to prepare yourself to be, you know, thick skin, perseverant. Um, got to have a lot of perseverance. Uh, to be in the entertainment sphere no matter artist business side um, actor like I just feel like it's a definite like it's a hard industry and it has like a lot of like people try to take advantage of artists and stuff like that and you have to be smart with your assets smart with your money or else you can definitely get you know messed over by collaborators people so you always got to either establish something very clearly at the beginning or sign your contract especially if money is involved like for the shows and all that I've been playing like contracts are very important everything is handled before that's definitely something that I would like really advise looking into like being um, smart about your business um, I would say that's definitely something because a lot of people are going to try to take advantage of you and you don't want that you don't want that so you have to be smart and also just like do what you love and if you know that this is something that you love and like you want to go after it I would say like a lot of people right now are caught up in the fact like oh like I don't know if I'm gonna make it like I don't know if this is like a sustainable path for me and I'm like well you're only like 19 20 whatever for so long and you have so much of life ahead of you and like some people don't even make it till way later and I'm like if you're already worrying about that when you're like 20 like it's kind of stupid in my opinion and I'm like go after your dreams now like I feel like this is the time and who knows because like what if you're sitting there wondering if you're gonna make it and who knows like if you actually try you do like who knows so I feel like it's a mixture of believing in yourself you have to believe in yourself you have to be the first your first supporter I would say um, and also being smart and having a thick skin. I would say like all three are like very important. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. It depends on the venue. So whiskey does not pay their performers and i mean i kind of get that because it's like an iconic venue but like you know like they also don't do any promotion so i just like i'm like <laughs> yeah no yeah um breaking sound um 
they are i think they're like a little more artist friendly and um i think like if you sell x amount of tickets then you get like 50 percent of the profit back but you don't get like paid paid for the show but cherry pop um i performed at one of their shows um like it's called scary pop and they pay their artists very well um they like try to like like they're the most I've, I've been paid like um for a show and it was it was a really good amount for like a 30 minute set and honestly like i feel like at this stage right now like i feel like touring and like live performances right now unless you're like a huge artist is more of a loss than a gain so i think at the beginning you definitely have to like take a step back and be like this is more to promote myself this is more to get my name out there rather than i'm making money um but when the shows do like pay you to play obviously like gonna take those and yeah yeah so i've had a few of those and and it's been very nice but some of them are not like that too so it's it's kind of 50 50 like they they pay you sometimes they don't pay you and like it's like you know balancing it but i wasn't gonna say to no to the whiskey because i'm like that's such an iconic venue and like i wanted to play there so i was like okay that's fine <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> I agree. I agree. Um, because so many people are like, I I understand like some people's predicaments and and you know situations they're in. Like they have to be like more worried about money, and I completely understand that. But if you're in a position to like not worry as much about the money, like don't. Because I have some friends who are like so stingy over money and they have the means to not be and i i think it's i think it's good but in a way like some of them are so stingy that it's like annoying i'm like i'm like you have been given and blessed the resource of this why are you being so stingy and why are you treating it like it's a curse you know um so I feel like if you've been given the blessing to not worry as much about it, like, why be so stressed? You know, so, but obviously it is always great to, like, take the initiative and make money. Like, that's why, like, I'm definitely probably going to, like, work a job. I'm, like, doing an internship right now. Not making crazy money, but it's some money. So, you know, taking little steps here and there, but, like, at the same time, like, I agree. If you're like doing what you love, you just gotta keep getting better at it. And I agree, the money will follow. Mm hmm. Definitely. 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 Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got um it's all Hasitha Guan H A S I T H A G U H A N. Um that's really all of my platforms like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Everything is under my name, Hasitha Guhan. So yeah, my, web, my website's even like hasithaguan.com, so <laughs> you can find me there. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a bunch of shows in April coming up, so stay tuned for those. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. It means smile. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.